Thank you so much. I have been in, in a state of slight shock. I didn't really expect this. I got the news actually in the middle of my working day here, uh, sitting right where you are. And um, I honestly didn't believe it. I thought it was a prank initially, but uh, I was really happy when the official news came through. So I've been really, really delighted and humbled at the honor of representing my country. Well, actually, I tried Amir's number and I finally got through to him. He was in a screening. So Amir was the first person I spoke to, my producer, the person who found the script for me. So he was the first person to tell and we congratulated, congratulated each other. So, yeah, it was, he was our first call. Yeah, actually, I don't envy the jury at all at FFI. I mean, it must have been a very, very difficult choice because there were such good films this year. And just to be considered in these top 29 films is a big honor in itself. We produce so many great films every year, but this year was particularly a tough one. So um, I, I think the uh, jury must have thought of what the film stands for uh, uh, the humor in the film, the, the humaneness of the film. I, I hope that those were the, I'm sure those were the reasons as well, but I'm sure they had many reasons to consider and choose us. But uh, we've been really, really uh, delighted and honored to even be chosen among so many good films. Yeah, the journey has only just begun with uh, being uh, becoming being chosen as India's entry to the Oscars. It's a long and hard journey because there's a lot of expertise required, a lot of uh, money and support and campaign strategy that one has to develop and build and carry through. So we will put our best foot forward and try our best to take the film as far as it goes down this uh, road uh, towards the Oscars and looking forward to the journey. Actually, Jaya called me yesterday and she said, uh, so our film is going. I said, uh, no, no, Jaya, uh, kuch, nothing is fixed. It'll, we'll get the news soon. But, uh, you know, uh, we are all hopeful. She said, you trust me. The film is going to go. I feel it in my bones and that her feeling came true. So today we spoke today and uh, we were shrieking with joy. <laughs> it was really fun. Actually, Toronto was a great uh, sort of launch pad for the film. It really ex the, exposed us to a huge market in North America. All the other films and filmmakers who came there heard about the film. And we had such a great reception there that it gave us a lot of confidence also in our marketing for India and taking it to other countries. Uh, we are now releasing the film in Japan on the 4th of October. And we're hoping for more international releases after that as well. So... It was great to start it off on an international journey uh, it, from last year. And I think that we have some sort of an insight, thanks to that, into what we should be, how we should be pushing the film going forward in the Oscar journey. Well, I, I can only pray and hope that I follow in Lagan's footsteps to be uh, nominated in the top five. Uh, we were, I was on the sidelines watching that journey. Amir and Ashu would, you know, I'd meet them once in a while and they would tell us stories of how it happens, what actually, you know, they did, what the Oscars were like. And we'll certainly use the expertise of Amir and Ashu and everyone as part of our now home team to uh, develop a strategy and really hoping to replicate the success till the nomination that Lagan had. Well, I feel the responsibility of representing this country as strongly as I can. Uh, it's a big responsibility. I am very, very honored and humbled to have been given this res responsibility. And I hope that we'll be able to follow through, uh, take the film um, as widely, as far down the road as possible. We will put our best foot forward and all our efforts into making it a success. And we ask for everybody's blessings and good wishes on this journey. Um, yeah, we're hoping to be successful. Well, at Toronto, we had, uh, I don't know how many minutes standing ovation after each of our screenings, actually. Uh, and it was a very emotional standing ovation where people 
we could tell had cried at the end of the film and then had laughed and you know they were really really uh, deeply moved by the film and that gave us a lot of confidence because this was an international audience that wasn't expecting anything uh, didn't really maybe even come for me particularly you know they just came to see a film and they were very moved by it so it showed us how universal actually in some ways this subject this story is and uh, gave us a lot of confidence when we came to india then to market for our worldwide release mm -hmm.